Greetings, sister. Are you not bothered by the uh, the adjacent vomiting? Yeah, it is a shame about the economy, but what are you gonna? Everything okay up there? All right then. Uh, one more isn't gonna kill me. Hey, kid. Hey yourself, you stupid cultist. You dare disrespect the cult? What cult? Um, the, uh, the, uh, the fish cult. Don't you mean the order, you dum-dum? Gosh, they'll just let any mouth breather in your little Girl Scouts club. Yeah, um, we've been, uh, lowering our standards, uh, lately. And there you stand, living proof. So, how's things? What's with the wheelbarrow? What's with the wheelbarrow? Nice conversational spark up, square. A square? Me? Yeah, man, you're like... Like, square squared. Sick burn, dude. I know, right? Huh. I guess I really am a square now. Man, I used to be one of the cool kids. Yeah, don't say. Huh. <laughs> yeah, alright. I never was a cool kid. I guess I never really fit in, you know? What? Seriously? Yeah. Must be why I'm walking around in these ridiculous pajamas. Just trying to be accepted somewhere, you know? Oh, man. I... I feel you. Yeah, well, at least I got this. What? These stupid robes? Do they make you feel special, dude? I'm the same man underneath, but they like me more in these dumb rags, sister. Sister? It ain't the 70s anymore, daddy-o. Anyway, man, whatever flies, you're dirigible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I dig. Far out, bruv. Why are you, uh, hating on the order, though? <laughs> He's all street now. Your nomenclature's all over the place, buds. You guys are a bunch of fish brains for worshipping that imaginary tadpole dad of yours. Uh, he's alright. Yeah, right. Dream on, pops. Can I let you in on a little secret? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. Your, your parents are probably in the esoteric order. Nah, man, they're not. My dad's a fisherman and that's it. All we do is deliver seafood to these wackos. What's the secret? Come on, tell me. In a minute, how come your dad's not in the order? I don't know, he's not into that mumbo jumbo. I mean, he's cool with the festival. Cause we get to sell a lot of fish to you loonies. Not me, I've come to hate fish. Yeah, ooh, tell me about it, but we're depopulating these waters, man. What the hell do you people need so much fish for? You should just get as much as you need and stop making such a waste. Can't disagree with that. Look, I have no idea what all the fish are for, honest. All right, the, uh, the secret is. I'm not really a cultist. I'm a private investigator. I snuck in here because I'm working a case. Whoa, are you serious? That is so cool, oh my god! Yep, it's true. Name's Don. Don Katype. Awesome. I'm Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. Yeah, man. So you're not into all the festival stuff, are you, Joey? 
Gah. I can't stand all these creeps and creepettes swarming around town. This place is horrible enough as is. We don't need extra wackos. Is there, um, I know it sounds dumb, but is there, uh, is there fishy stuff going on in your family? Nah. I mean, I see what you're getting at, but some of these people are just, you know, ugly, I guess. It's not a mutation or anything, I don't think. Well, you get really used to them when you see them walking around every day. I see. I'll catch See you, Dawn. They gon' judge! Nah, enough talk. I really hope that's not Randolph. Nah. They're a bit more excited now. They're even more mad. That's a... I really hope... I think I need a container. Now we just get it un- This thing isn't starting any- He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit-chat. You will learn the rituals in time for the festival, or else! He's way too f Not interested. I don't want to break her concentration. Really, really not interested. No time to chit chat. Gotta have fun now, you hit. Randolph wouldn't have. No way is that gonna. Other than the expected seafood, I detect a nice, healthy. He's got enough. He's really letting her rip. Ugh. Uh, it's really coming down. I'll be. Yeah, good. Yeah, that. Yeah, forget. Trying not to. Let's not ins Let's not Let's not Let's not I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. Oh got a really rotten And uh Uh, Hello? Anything else? Guess not. Later. Is that crazy guy outside gone, friend? Yeah, he's gone. I made sure of that. Huh. Well, I guess thanks are in order. Forgive me if I sound reluctant. I've just come to trust you cultists less lately. 
What happened that made you more reluctant? One of you socked me square in the face when I weren't looking. That's what. Yeah. No more respect for small businesses. Yeah. Not to mention the big franchises moving in and cannibalizing us little guys. Right. Cannibalism. Ugh. I mean, I, I'm just trying to eat here, you know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, what can I do you for, friend? Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? Yeah, that's Piava passed out in the armchair over there. I meant the ugly rumors about the meal. Strange. Oh, never mind. Just my big mouth getting me in trouble again. The meal, huh? Yeah, I keep hearing troubles afoot. Trouble? Huh? <laughs> Ura knew that psycho butcher was trouble from the get-go. But oh no, elders know best. Too much talk of double-crossing down the abandoned factory the last few hours, you know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire, huh? Dagon, forgive me for talking out of school, but if that good-for-nothing meat cobbler really denies the dream of his meal, well, there just ain't no point to nothing anymore. Wouldn't want the dreamer to go hungry, would we? Not after all the blood, sweat, and tears went into raising that thing. Cthulhu for Targon! The dreamer. Brother, you're trustworthy and all, and I like you on a personal level, but this thing's too big for us to be yapping about. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry for insisting. For talking. I'll be on my way. Come to Papa, little glass. It seems Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. Hmm, I think the Chief's outfit could use some lubrication first. A classy classic. Time seems to have stood still here in the uh, Finman house. I wonder if this relic holds any secrets. Like, say, secret passageways. Well, enough about that. It doesn't work and I have no, uh, time. Forcing a classic open isn't my style. I've picked up this ragged old boot for, uh, some reason. I borrowed this from Finman. I got myself a glass of oil. Neat. That would break the glass. We don't want that. That idea gets the boot. That would break the glass. Nothing to fish for. Well, 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 Chief Piovra, sleeping off some booze. One more, damn it! All right, that seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. Sure, I can pop him out, but how do I carry him? What are your thoughts on the festival? i tell you the truth, it's kind of a disappointment so far. Scrawny cultists, most of them, and always roaming the streets and don't seem to ever go to sleep in their rooms like they're supposed to. I mean, it's a festival. People hardly sleep during these things. Ugh. Oh, they don't, do they? 
Are there any rooms available? Ugh, they're filled to capacity. You don't seem happy about that. Well, well, let's just say business ain't been as uh, satiating as it could be. So, uh, you're full, but uh, not really, huh? Yeah, that, that's a good way to be putting it, to be sure. Ugh. I'll be on. This is all your fault, Bernard. This is all your. It doesn't work, and I have. Does not help. Sure, I can buy Gross. The crowbar is aggressive enough already. Somehow I don't think his name is Randolph. It says Randolph, not Pierce. Its name is not Randolph. Its name is... An incredibly beat up car, desolately leaning on the sidewalk. It's in a very bad state. Must have been here for quite a while. She's dead, Milton! Just leave her here! I got nothing to say. This thing isn't starting anytime soon. It's a wreck already. This, uh, can't be Randolph. Wouldn't do a damn thing. Yeah, no. It belonged to a Randolph. I have no idea why I picked this up. Excuse me, brothers. Go away! Can't you see who we're talking here? Rude. I can just talk to him. These guys are whispering to each other in some language that's completely alien to me. They're really into it. They don't look like Randolph's to me. She doesn't look like a Randolph. None of them looks like a Randolph. Something tells me he's not Randolph. Joey, you think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon. Something to express myself right. And he's like so against it. Like, all he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says, I'm gonna be a fisherman just like he is. Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Hey, Joey. What if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy too? How would I do that? I have this name tag. Yeah? Never mind. Bad idea. I have this fish hook. Think about it. Fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. Phew, all right. You think I could get that uh, wheelbarrow for a couple of minutes? 
Sure, dude. Knock yourself out. Man, this is going to look so sick. Woo -woo. Yeah, uh, maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your lip. I don't think it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go... You ever heard of someone called... The Butcher? <sighs> Who hasn't? But officially, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a lot of whispers of betrayal and all kinds of crazy stuff, and everybody in the EOD is a lot more on edge than usual, but... None of them are right in the head, so who knows, really. Yeah, this place is crazy, no doubt. You know anything about the, uh, the Dreamer? Oh, man, don't say that out loud. They don't like that. Well, paradoxically, they speak his name out loud all the time, but geez, careful. You mean, Dagon? Bigger than Dagon, Broham. Much bigger. Anyway, it's just a dumb delusion like everything else the Order worships. But it keeps me popping business, so, you know. Uh-huh. What do you know about the meal? Look, man, I shouldn't either know or be telling you this. But a lot of the fish that my dad and most fishermen in town catch go straight into the meal. The fish or the meal? No, you square. The meal is what they've been raising over in Kraken Bay. Duh. Oh. Oh. So, uh, what is it? Don't know. Don't care. And I wouldn't look too closely into it if I were you. Just saying. Later, Joey. Don't blow my cover, all right? Watch your back, Donny boy. Time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. Well, here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vaca! But had to tell how present he really is, but it's him all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well... I'm convinced he's long gone, but if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to traitors. Ooh, show him good! You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys! Cthulhu for Targan! All right, I was in. A cold, bluish-green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the Butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. I'll never know who Randolph really was. Ugh, the lid's all stuck with some disgusting crud. Let's pop this baby open. All right. Got myself a power tool. Hmm, nothing happened. I think it needs fuel. Can't use it by itself. Can't reach it. Ugly cultist! Isn't that assuming a bit too much given how dark it is in here? Don't push your luck when there's an angry little kid pointing a hand cannon at you, batty! See, now that is concerning. I don't know that I want to live in a society where an innocent child can easily get her hands on a... Would you like for mice to really appreciate you? Uh, uh, what? Um... Unless you really do, don't make me turn you into Swiss cheese! 
I'm not moving. Good. Good. Okay, now what? Now you get to explain just what you're creeping around in the dark here for, cultist. I... I'm really not a cultist. Honest. Mm, okay, let me see here. Cultist ropes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so... So here I am, your savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me making all my bullets count. Ooh. Read that loud and clear. I'm investigating. I'm looking for, uh... Well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof, can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun pointing at my noggin. I've got time. Ugh, to make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So... I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. Kitty can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gillsby back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of all right in my book. I, I, I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you know Buzz and Kitty? Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago, back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you, you bad, bad people! Kitty eats fish. You hate her too? Well, she can't help it, you dumb, dumb, can she? She's a carnivore, that's natural. What you are doing is not. True enough, she's just a cat. And you're just a kid. I don't pretend to understand anything about you peep you kids. But I do know that at your age, you should be playing with dolls, not handling firearms. Come on, just hand it over. <laughs> he stole some commentary. <laughs> but you are not getting this gun. So step off, Grandpa. No, oh, not you too. I'm I'm really not that old. You are old, and you stink like dead rotten fishies. Fishies you probably murdered with your stinky, murdering hands! Actually, they were already dead. And they rained down on me like ironic, putrid offerings of the heavens. I can't tell if I'm more bored or annoyed with you at this point. I don't even like fish. I, I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you killing so many of them? Again, not a cultist. But it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well... We'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. You really shouldn't be in here alone. What'll your parents think? They think I'm still in my bedroom. I made sure of that. Can I ask where you got that huge gun from? Mm, knocked out some cultist leader in my way in here. Anything else? Uh, maybe later. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm. Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... Oliver? Maybe like a really sad one? And they preyed on his weakness when they recruited him. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. Alright. Uh, I'm game, I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Basilla? Are you sure? I'm sure! Get to it! Ah! 
It ain't working. Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. I know Kung Fu. Aha! It's a heavy sliding door. It's riveted shut. Dang it! Keep them well refrigerated, he said. More liquid nitrogen. Thank God for technology. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room and I didn't bring thicker underwear. <sighs> Nothing to report yet. Huh, one's missing. Good day to you, sir and young miss, if day it indeed be. You'll forgive my disorientation, I trust. I've been holed up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted door. Truly appreciate it. No offense, but uh, who or uh, what are you? Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with a human-octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha, <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Basilla. And this guy over here is Dawn. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. But anyway. So Otis, how'd you become an octopus hybrid? I mean, of course, if that's not too painful to discuss. Oh, not at all! Details, I'm afraid, are pretty sparse and amnesia seems to be a side effect of the process. I do remember my name was Otis and I, well, I died. I'm afraid I can't remember the circumstances. I did wake up at the hands of these persons that were operating on me. Strange sensation, to be sure, but I was alive again. Quite a blessing, sir, I assure you. You have a uh, quite the positive outlook on life for a, a talking head. How could I not? I was dead, and now I live. Is there a greater joy imaginable? I think not. That's a refreshingly positive attitude. Thank you! I was always an optimist, and as you can see, good things have happened to me! Indeed. Did you see the butcher? Yeah, did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was muffled, so it was pretty hard to make anything out, I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. A uh, dry. Any idea what that means? One can only assume it has some negative implications, but that's pure speculation on my part. Do you know where the laboratory is? Yes, I do. You, you don't want to go in there, do you? Indeed, we're chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. No one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave the premises as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. Come on, Otis, work with us. 
You ain't gotta go back in there. Just help us get in. Oh, heavens! Well, all right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber and to the right. It's just junk. I don't need any of it. All kinds of junk. It looks like it was thrown into that corner in something of a rush. What happened here? All kinds of- Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come to Papa, sweet gasoline. Nah, can't. That's real cool. Now get back. I'm not sure I want to do I don't want to touch any Sleep more, work more, raise more, sleep more, work more, raise more. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there they are. Maybe they had an overpopulation problem? Place seems empty now. Locked from the inside. Not helping. Yeah, fire will probably do zero damage to it. Drink up, big buddy. There you go. I'd gotten the engine to run. At least now, any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. I'm gonna call it Alice. Cause it's in chains. I'm not a complete square, you know. But seriously, looks like it could somehow be of use. Severely out of range. Yeah, no. I could throw my crowbar at it, but it'd probably kill me on the way back down. Mm, no. Now get back. As you will. Hey kid, I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Do not let me down! That's a promise, Priscilla. I don't think I'm giving this back. It's been a while, but here goes.
I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you could do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear! I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non-existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. I appreciate your support, dear friends. <sighs> Alright, here I go! Oh dear! Oh lord! Oh, it's, it's all coming back now! The pits! The horrible pits! The non-dries! Their horrible gnashing and gnawing and... Oh, this is too much to bear! Oh god, what is that? Oh! Oh, what do you know? It's a coin! <laughs> oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great! Oh god, the abominations! Focus, Otis! Focus! <laughs> ah! uh, Alright, it's open. Wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Yeah. Yes, c c could I please go now? There are horrible things in there, and I don't wish to spend another second in their vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh... Oh! It appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah, I thought that might be the case. Look, here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a, like a pet or something. But I want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. You said it yourself. Otis is sort of a fishy, and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? I, I guess you're right. But don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya! Many thanks again! All the best! Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities! Like? Hmm, let's see here. Why? Why I could be on telly, my dear! The one true talking head out there! <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Haha, <laughs> see, little one? Always keep a positive outlook. Ew, ow! Just a second. Stepped in some oily thing here. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that was surreal. <sighs> Alright, let's see what secrets this place holds. I don't like my chances of surviving that. Gotta think of another way. This definitely opened a plain scratched metal panel of sorts. Looks stuck in place. It's stuck. Don't touch unless one escapes, worms. Uh, no. Nothing to remove or perforate. Katype's got leverage. It seems to control some kind of security apparatus. Probably put in place in case one of those creatures escapes. Looks like a view of this room from above. And there's a cage hanging overhead. Huh. So the button opens both the door and the monster's pits. Devious. I don't like my chance. Gotta think of an... It's not an immediate threat. It's not an immediate... No. No. Don't touch unless one...
That's one monstrosity secured. And all the rest of them loose. That's all the creeps loose, but at least I'm safe once I press this button. <sighs> I don't see a better option.